What's the most wholesome experience you've had with a stranger? I was traveling from the south of England to the north of Scotland to start a new job the next morning. I had taken a train up to London and was supposed to get on an early morning flight from Heathrow. The bus to the airport however, was cancelled and I had to make my own way using a series of night buses. However it was about 2.30 am and my phone was dead, and I had never used London's night buses before. I was young and a little scared, standing in the middle of Victoria trying to figure out the faded bus schedule when a woman came up to me and asked are you alright love? And I explained through tears that I thought I was going to miss my flight and didn't even have an Oyster card. She looked up my route on her phone, wrote down all the possible variations of buses and trains that I would need to take, including the times. She waited with me the entire time, like 20 minutes, then when the bus came up she paid for my fare no cash on London buses. I got out and looked to her and she shrugged and said oh I'm not getting the bus, you just looked like you needed someone. I think about her every once in a while, and I'm incredibly grateful for her. I was in the hospital, knowing I'd be there for at least a week, and possibly more. I was sick of hospital food, so I went downstairs to go across the street to the hospital subway. I was pretty far back in the hospital, sixth floor, back side of the building, labyrinth of staircases and hallways to get out the front door. The walk from there to subway took almost 15 minutes, even though it was just across the street. I waited in line, got up to the counter to order, and realized I'd left my wallet in my room. I was exhausted mentally by that point from the stay, told them I'd forgotten the wallet, and turned to make the trek all the way there and back again. All of a sudden, a nurse behind me bought my food for me, saving me the trip. I thanked him profusely. That was years ago, but I will never forget that act of kindness. I had a knock on my door and when I opened it, there was a stranger with a gift card to a local garden store for me. Apparently her kid had been pinching tulips from my garden every day to give to his mom and they wanted to pay for them, once they figured out whose garden they were coming from. I had thought squirrels were doing it and had regretted planting them the year before, not being able to enjoy them. I spent the gift card on more bulbs. When I was 16, I'd taken my mom's old Pontiac Bonneville to the movies and I was in such a hurry that I forgot to turn off the lights. When I came out, the car was dead but someone left a set of jumper cables on the hood with a note that said, I hope you make it home safely. I've never ever forgotten about that. Since then I've tried to pay that kindness forward any way I can. I was really drunk and started puking in the trash can in the women's bathroom since there was a line to get to a toilet. One of the girls in line held my hair up and rubbed my back, telling me I'd be okay. I drunkenly told her I loved her, I may also have been crying. Wherever you are. Bathroom girl, I still love you. When I was 18 I had a friend in the hospital with brain cancer. His time was limited. I visited him when I could. He was kind of hippie alternative punk. I wore a leather jacket and had long hair. I walked to his room, a nurse saw me. Without saying a word she walked to me and gave me a long comforting hug. That's how I knew he passed. I had just lost my job and my dad had his card stolen. He was waiting on the bank but completely out of food and living in an old, run-down RV. I would have figured something out. I'd die before I let him starve. Right as he's almost in tears talking to me about it, someone knocked on the door. A lady had food for someone in an RV, but those people had vacated the parking lot and she wanted to know if my dad needed any. Some sort of local helping hands org, there was everything from canned goods, to fresh meat, milk, pasta everything. She had bought it with her own money and didn't want it to go to waste. I'll never forget the timing, or her generosity. I used to go to school with a bunch of horrible people. I'm disabled so I look and walk weird. Every time I'd go out for lunch to my favorite food place and see them, they'd hurl insults. Anyway, I was standing in a long queue and they were behind me. There was an old lady, maybe like 70 to 80, behind them. They were making fun of my walk. I sorta of can't walk straight because I had a stroke as a kid, and this old lady called them a bunch of cruel twats. It was really kind of her to stand up to them. I always will remember that. On my honeymoon in Greece we nearly got stranded driving our little scooter back from a day trip. Finally found a petrol station in this village but it was during afternoon nap slash siesta time. We apologized as best we could in the little Greek we knew. The guy obliged but looked a little annoyed. He casually asks where we are from and we tell him New Zealand. 
His face lights up and is amazed because he had never met someone from NZ before. He asks us what are we doing so far away from home, we tell him that it's our honeymoon. He tells us to wait there and comes back with a bottle of wine that's obviously worth more than the 6 euros of petrol we are buying. He refuses for us to round up the bill or for us to buy anything. He just tells us honeymoon is honeymoon, be happy, go hands down one of the best highlights of our trip. I was in an abusive relationship and it ended with him beating me up very badly. Broken ribs, bruises and cuts all over me. He was arrested, but the process and aftermath was hell. It was spring and the weather was warming, but for weeks I wore long sleeves and high collars to hide the cuts and bruises. Eventually everything healed and faded except one very deep bruise on my upper arm. I had had enough of hiding them in shame so one day I said duck it and wore short sleeves. I was standing in line in Walmart and noticed this rough biker looking dude staring at me. I thought he was checking me out or whatever. Then he asked me how I got that bruise on my arm. I stumbled answering and he outright asked did somebody hurt you? For some reason I decided to be honest and not lie in shame so I said out loud yes, somebody hurt me. He looked at me me and in the kindest voice said you did not deserve that. Whoever it was will get what's due to them one day. For some reason, that was a turning point for me. I knew then that I was going to be okay. I knew that no matter how things turned out legally, that I was going to be okay. I never saw that man again. But I honestly think he was an angel sent to give me a message. I have bright hair, currently teal, and moved from Orlando to a very small southern town. I get the look a lot, especially from older people. I was walking through the parking lot of an Ingalls one day and an old lady, maybe 70-ish, yelled out to me your hair matches your shorts. That's so cute. Dot it kinda made my day. Went to a bar to meet a date and got ghosted. So I'm sitting at the bar drinking alone and saw a woman being harassed by a drunk guy. I intervened and she acted as if she'd been waiting for me. The drunk got lost and the woman and I sat together at the bar for a couple hours. We had a really great time, lots of smiles and laughs. There were sparks for sure. She asked for my phone and started talking selfies, so I took it back from her to get some better photos. Probably captured 50 or so, some really candid ones and some silly poses. After we laughed about the photos, she got up to leave. I asked for her number and if we could go out sometime, but she declined. She thanked me for the wonderful night and said something along the lines of let's just leave it at this and enjoy the memory. Somehow I felt okay with that. I kept her photos for several years and every time I saw them they instantly brought a smile to my face. I never even knew her name but it was one of the best dates of my life. I had been living and struggling in NYC for three years, when my dad was diagnosed with Parkinson's. I decided to move back down south to be closer and help out. It was a huge, scary, life-changing decision and I didn't know if I was making the right call, I had been working in book publishing and trying to follow my dreams but it just wasn't what I thought it would be. On one of my last nights in town, I got into a cab to meet someone for dinner. The early prophetic cab driver just looked at me in the mirror and asked, you are leaving this city for good? I told him I was and he said yes, you have met many fancy animals with human faces. As I got out of the car and said goodbye, he said well. We have met before 1000 years ago or so, and I expect we will again. I think about that guy a lot. And yes, moving was the right decision. A few years ago, I was experiencing deep depression. My life was a mess, my apartment was a mess, I was a mess. For a moment, I decided to just go to the park and sit for a while, as I was really at the end of my rope and had zero idea on what to do. Out of nowhere, a kid possibly about three or four years, comes and hands me three yellow dandelions and runs back to her mom. I don't know why, but I always remember that. That day, I went home and cleaned my apartment and made it more tidy. I wouldn't say that my life miraculously changed, but I will say that, that one moment of kindness, that neither the kid nor the mom probably remember, was one of the most memorable moments in my life. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.